Hey, howdy, and good morning to you. This morning, we got a great, great topic. So let's talk about that funny smell. I'm not talking about the garbage can or your socks. I'm talking about when you're walking by, if you're in an old house, your closet, and you smell something burning. So there are certain panels of a certain era <laughs> that burn more often. But we're going to talk about why that happens and how you can tell on your own there are some indicators that you have some burn busting and what to do and what, if you're gonna replace that, what panel you should put in. Because you know what? There's a fire in the kitchen. We need to go put it out. Boom. So here we have an early 70s Bryant panel. Um, you could tell because uh, both, because it says Bryant and it has the, uh, the amperages here. Uh, this was very common that the manufacturers would have their breakers color-coded, okay? So you have red, blue, green, black, orange. And you'll see the same thing, worth noting, is the old Zinsco panels did the same thing. They color-coded all their breakers. So this morning we're talking about burned busing. I'm going to put some light in a couple of spots, and then we're going to do a post-mortem, okay? So make sure... So, Paul, if we come over here, let me push towards you. You'll see this spot right here. This is what got the replacement going. So you look at this fin, and obviously it had some, some burning. Uh, it burned apart, actually. Uh, and the breaker on top of that was damaged as well. And it overheated, then it started nuisance tripping. So if we go to the top, let's go to the other end. Here's This is after the fact. Look at this panel right here. I don't know if you can see in there. That's supposed to be solid black plastic. It's not, it burned through. But if we do a flip on these lugs, these are the two main feeder lugs here for the two hots. We flip that up. You look at that, look how black that was. That thing has been hot for a second. So if you go over here to the other lug closer, you'll notice it's still kind of gray silver like it's supposed to be. So a lot of burning, this thing had to go. And this morning as we pop some breakers off here, we're going to uh, see if there's any other burning just for fun. So a real brief background, and I think this is important if you're an electrician, you remodel, or you're doing replacements, is understanding what you're looking like at. So this is a split bus. They did split bus panels from the early 50s to the 70s. And it's what a split bus is, is all, most of the 220 breakers are up top. Here's your feeders coming in from the utility. They land here. And then you had mostly two pole breakers up top, including this. This was a main for the bottom half. So if, if I turn this off, look at these two wires here, this fed down here, the busing for this bottom half. And this traditionally was all 110, lights and plugs, lighter loads. And this was, again, sort of footnote in history, when the rule was you didn't need a main breaker if you, if you could shut everything off in six operations of the hand or six throws of the hand, that went out in the 2020 code, but from the late 30s till through 2017 code cycle, that language is in Article 230.71. So here's what I'm talking about. So if we wanted to shut this off in emergency, we would go one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Everything's off. And that was the rule. So as of 2020, now we have to have one disconnecting means not up to six. Anyways, you'll see this a lot. If you get in close, you can see the split and the busing. This is an insulator right here. Here, let's do something, Paul. Don't get hit by any shrapnel. This is just black insulator. We're gonna put this out of here. Well, I thought it was. So, hang on, hang on, let's do a little surgery. There we go. Now it's a lot more obvious. So you see the busing ends right here for the power, this last bus, there's a gap and then the bus starts right here for everything below. So it was called split bus. So one of the reasons is we're looking at this for burning, a lot of people are, are, are asking, it's like, well, why does, why does busing even burn? I mean, it's supposed to be <laughs> designed not to do that. So the biggest thing is during this time, especially in the 70s through probably the early 80s, is you, the busing, and this is the busing right here that takes the breakers right here. That's the busing, that's what the breakers clip onto you. It was made, Zinsco had the same problem, and that was, it was made out of a very, very soft metal. And so I'll, t I'll show you, I haven't tried this before, but I've got my linemans on this, and there you go. So 
So basically that's not much harder to bend than a Coke can. That metal is super, super soft, okay? So you guys see there, I just bent that pretty darn easy. And if I worked it or it had a crack in it, I would pull that off, it would break off in a heartbeat. The main reason we have burns burning in some of these older panels is exactly that, soft bussing. Um, and then we have uh, loose connections under load and it's gonna burn. It's gonna do what you see here. So Paul, real quick, let's get in here. I'm gonna pull off the rest of these breakers. I've not done this yet. I wanna see if we have, just have morbid curiosity, uh, any of them burning. And so far, uh, oh, that one's burned. If you come around here, you can see right here, you see how it's a little gray on the edges? So somebody put in this uh, BR breaker on this busing. This is a great example. So I'm gonna pull this the rest of the way off. It's gonna take a second. Uh, look at that. Look at that right there. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is destroyed. So somebody basically had a burn bright in there originally, and they said, well, I'll just pull this breaker off and put a new breaker in. So what happens when you put a new breaker on burn busing? You get a new breaker that's got a burn clip. Oh, look at that. So if you get in close, you can see little bits of copper. Oh, right there. Let me get in there. Let me get you better, some better light. It looks like somebody welded in there. That's supposed to be smooth, shiny metal, not black pitted. So uh, there we go. Well, that was a discovery. I didn't expect that one. So let's go through. Now I can't stop myself. Let's, let's get the rest of these off because I'm curious how much more burning was in this panel that uh, we replaced it. But how much more burning is there that I didn't really know about? Because, oh my gosh, look at this. See that big ring? That's, and the cracking, yeah, that's, that's been getting hot for a long, long time. And if you look at the busing, of course, then the neighboring breaker burned as well, too, if you see that in there. Yep. So let's pull this off. Again, that was burning that I wasn't even aware of. Uh, uh, there you go. Here's another replacement. It's a BR in this old Bryant. It was burnt. Oh my gosh. Let me get you better light. You see the crunchies in there. Wow, this panel was definitely hurting. Uh, if you look here, look at the pitting on the side. I'll turn for you. Look at that. If you look at the blade here, this one's not burned. This piece of bus right here, it's got full diameter. But you look at how thin this one got as it burned down. And again, it's making a larger gap between the busing, the clips, and uh, the bus itself. So this is the lower half main. Let's take this off. Okay, that was okay. Okay, again, you can look here. That one's not burned. Last breaker, and I think we're gonna be okay. Let's see if I can do this and not uh, take off any skin off my hands. How about we use a tool? Yeah. There we go. And we're okay there. So the post-mortem on this, people ask about burning. Here's the clean bus. Here's the, uh, I'm gonna pull this insulator out. Okay. So, top half with the 220s, utility feed, bottom half with the 110, but we had burning on one or two of the buses here, two of them actually, on the upper half, here and here. In the lower half, we had two burning, plus the main feeder up here in this top phase was burned out. Thinking, okay, so if I have a house built in the 70s, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, I'm worried about, are my panels burning? Because Bryant, Zinsco, Federal, uh, the old, uh, uh, the old Sylvania, they had the side clips. Any, all of them had, it wasn't the breakers that were the issue so much as this soft bussing. Again, it's bendy. It's almost like rigid cardboard. There's not, it's soft. So a couple things you can do. One, if you have a circuit that trips a lot for no apparent reason, 
put your hand on the breaker. Let's go over to this panel. I have it opened. Come on, put it over here. So if I still had my dead front on here, right? So if the panel opened and you're a homeowner, don't, you shouldn't be anywhere near this. But if you put your hand right here, again, you've got the dead front on, and you put your hand on your breakers going down, the one that trips a lot of times will be noticeably warmer. And as you guys saw in that burn bussing, it's generating heat. Think about it, how, and I don't know, engineers help me here. At what temperature does aluminum melt? It's that hot, right? You're arcing and burning away metal. So if your breaker is nuisance tripping a bunch for not an apparent reason, if it's warm to the touch, significantly warmer than its neighbors, okay, you're very likely going to have burn bussy underneath. So at that point, get an electrician to come out, pull the breaker off carefully, and then take a look. Carefully is a big deal. Now, so this is a panel that I would recommend. Sorry, I'm gonna show you this breaker. Ignore my open KOs in the bottom of this sub panel. We did a remodel, please don't, just look the other way. I love these panels, and here's why. If you get in closer, and again, this is hot right now, but if you look at these flat bars, those are the buses, right? They're not the blades but they are tin-plated copper, okay? And they're gonna last a long time, and the metal in those is very, very hard, okay? So if you look at this, you see that flat bar, and you can see this is meant to ride over, and these two legs have to spread over and close on that bus. It's a very, very strong, very tight connection, and that's what we're looking for. Uh, the other panel I like that's similar to this is the Eaton CH, the tan handles. The busing looks very, very similar. Okay, and of course the Siemens, if you get it with the copper or the templated copper brass busing, same thing. So if you have a panel that's burning and smelly, right, crunchy, sorry, that was the other thing. We said if the, if the breaker is nuisance stripping, if it's hot, the surface is hot to the touch. And if when you work the breaker, the guts, which isn't a busing thing, but a lot of times this, if you move it, you'll feel it, I call it crunchy, because you've got... Uh, on the old breakers, uh, that those clips trying to grab onto something that's pitted and carbonized, and it's it's crunchy. You'll feel it. That that you need to get rid of that. That's going to be a problem. Okay. So on the replacement, I like QO Square D because again, harder bussing, good clip. Um, here, because the code has changed again as of uh, beginning in 2020, you had to have a single main disconnecting means. So the throws of the hand weren't a thing anymore beyond the really cool old language, okay? So this is what I recommend, again, either, so this, QO, not home line. Home line's not bad, but it's, spend a few more pennies, get the QO. Go with Siemens, again, check it out to make sure it's not aluminum bus only. Um, and then the color hammer eaten, the CH, the tan handle, because the busing is very similar to this on the QO. Um, that's what you want to do to replace this. So last thing for the homeowners, right? Why, burst, why busing burns? Here's the thing, you don't have to replace your panel instantly. Again, you guys know if you watch my videos, I dislike intensely electricians who use fear to cause homeowners to make big purchases. I'm not a fan of that. So if you have one spot that's burning and they open it and check it, you can, if you have some spaces short term, you can take a new breaker, plug it in on fresh bus, extend your wires, and that'll get you by. My point is, unless there's prolific burning and something's come loose, I've got a story about that, um, you don't have to replace the panel right then. I'm, I'm just saying there's an option short term. Ultimately, yeah, you should change that panel, but you shouldn't let some shyster on the spot say, hey, you need to spend your umpteen thousand dollars an hour, you're gonna die in your sleep. That's not true, usually. All right, um, let's go back to the Bryant real quick. So if this was, where's one of my burned two pole 30? Oh, there you go. So you guys see this, right? This is a two pole uh, 30, and this was snapped on the busing. So this did not have a main breaker. Six of those of the hand, they said you don't have to have a main disconnect. But if you're deciding to check this out on your own and you know this is hot, I, I wouldn't do it, pull it out. Because here's what I did once many years ago, is I pulled out a breaker. This whole section right here was burned so badly, the guts of this breaker came out with the breaker in my hand. 
So from that trigger in here, there's a little piece of braided copper, like a copper string. So that was hanging onto the bus as I pulled it away and it was live. So I had this breaker in my hand, this piece of bare copper connected to a crunchy fused piece of clip and no way to shut it off without pulling the meter. So that was awkward because the homeowner was standing next to me and asked me what I was going to do. And at that point in my career, I didn't know and I told him as much. We ended up changing the panel. My point is if you can just take a flashlight, let's say this is on here, and you can feel the heat on this, a lot of times you can just gently pry the, the neighbor off and you can put a flashlight down there. And if you see anything like this that's gray, see how this is all gray? That's from the plastic burning or arcing, overheating. If you see that gray and it's hot, you don't have to take it off to know that it's burned. It's burned. So spare yourself a really awkward situation of potentially getting hurt by trying to pull it off to fully see it. You don't need to, okay? So if you guys, uh, last thing I wanna talk about, uh, if we talked about this, heat, flickering, the smell, and the crunchies. Uh, if you got that, the other thing is if you're in North Texas, ABR Electric, we can help you with these. We obviously deal a lot with these kind of panels. But the other thing, Paul, is I wanna make sure that they uh, click like and subscribe and probably just as important, comment. I love your comments, thank you. I take that back. I love most of your comments. I would say 97.5% love the comments. Um, you guys are sharp. Again, 97.5% of you are sharp. Love you guys. The other percentage, we'll see. Click like, subscribe, give me your comments, tell me your experiences with these kind of panels, the old soft aluminum bus, uh, split bus, top and bottom, and that sweet spot, right? Late 60s to early 80s. There is millions of these put into homes, and they're nasty. Talk to you soon.